Hello, boys and girls. So as most of you know, we have day jobs and uh, it's kind of, he's on vacation this week. Um, so he's been doing this in his garage all week and I've had a normal day job. Um, so I've missed a lot and this is where I came in where we have nearly three of them done. So I'm just going to show you him finish up what cylinder number four um, and, and then we'll show you how to lap the valve and then we're going to show you how to mark out. Uh, the one on number on number three um, and then we'll show you the process uh, and the tool you use and how you use it correctly oh look hey there's numbers here 45 cc and this one's dirty and then whoop, 53 cc's and that's a total difference of eight eight cc's no just eight permanent fine point from Tarje. Ooh, works go as you can see, uh, this is all shiny. Yeah, it could use a little bit more polishing, I think, but uh, that's where we're at. I got eight cc's out of the chambers by doing this. A lot of, a lot of work involved with this, right. by the way. So this is what we're starting with. That's, um, that's the 45 cc combustion chamber. And this is this is probably like close to 50. It's like probably 51-ish at this point. Um, this is a very messy process, as you can see here, all this fine aluminum powder. Yes. And then what is the tool of choice? Ooh, it's a one horsepower um, snap-on guy. That I got from this jerk that I know. Yeah. So what I did is I colored in the top of the chamber or the inside of the head and I marked where the cylinder sits on I marked the inside of the cylinder so I know how far I can go out when I'm cutting and then I made a template this little guy made that off of the first one that I did which I believe was this one and then I just used that to mark out where I need to cut to so that they'll all be similar when they're done. Just don't really need that much grease. Just a little bit. Keeps it from gumming up. Now obviously you're not going to want to use this grease for much else after this. So you want to keep a good angle on it. I'm using like, I don't know, what's that, like a 15 degree angle? You don't want it too round to do what they call a hemi head. That's good for um, emissions, but not so great for performance. And we're not building an emissions engine here. So I'm trying to be careful not to get into uh, not to get into the seat with the grinder, but it does happen sometimes, and it happened on the other heads. But there's a lip around here, and you can, you can see it on this chamber here. See that lip there? You want to get rid of that, because that is really bad for flow. And it goes all the way around on both of them. I've already ground it out for the most part on this one. I need to get a little bit in there, and a little bit right here while being careful not to hit the seat too much. When you put grease on it, even if it's gummed up, like it'll come out almost immediately. See how close I am there. Getting pretty close to the edge. I've already gotten right on the line there. Just trying to clean this curve up here a little bit. done as far as with that bit goes. Now I gotta hit it with the flappy discs. Alright, so 
flappy disc. This is a, looks like a 40 grit flappy wheel. I'm covered in aluminium. All right, here we go, flappy wheel. bit of ridges in here. I'm gonna hit it with the bigger wheel. So why are you using the big wheel now? Because this one is 60 grit, the other one was 40. It's a finer mm -hmm. grit to polish it a little bit better. Oh. And then after that I hit it by hand with the 180. If I had a finer grit wheel I would do that. But I don't, so. So it looks like I got a little deep in there. You can still see some of the parts where I dug in with the other bit. Not too bad. Oh, yeah. it up a little bit with the 180 grit sandpaper. It's this. Time for a new piece. No, this chamber isn't going to be perfect. I mean, it's not going to look like a professional did it because this is my first time, so. But it'll be better than what I started with. You want to polish this as much as you can because carbon likes to stick to things that are porous, I guess you could say. Like a rough surface, that's carbon will stick to that more. So if you keep it shiny, it has less, less uh, area to hang on to. get these guides nice and clean because they're full of material at this point. Now you can really see how much these were ported. And look, they cut that valve guide down clear back to the in to the exhaust port. Wow. As most of you know, an engine is like your body. Your body performs better when it breathes better. So an engine will perform way better when it can breathe. When you can put as much air going in and out without any turbulence. Right. So that's kind of the whole point with, you know, polishing it as much as you can. Um, get the little ridges out of it because that will create turbulence inside the uh, combustion chamber um, it just creates bad fluidity inside the combustion chamber to get a cleaner burn if you don't have it as smooth as you can get it when it's ported it gives you know as much air the easiest way in and out of that combustion chamber because um, the easier it goes in and the easier it goes out the the more it'll breathe the more it'll perform and the more you'll get out of it Go hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe, and comment, and share with your friends. You can also check out our website at garagejunkieapparel.com. We have all our shirts available for purchase. We'll see you next week.